Hello everyone, this is Yeshua Said My Name. This video is an update actually on the Vatican sex abuse scandals that are going on. Apparently today, Pope Francis accepted the resignation of Cardinal Whirl of Washington, D.C. Uh, Cardinal Whirl has been accused of helping the cover-up of the um, um, alleged sex abuse uh, that has been going on. And the pressure was put on Cardinal Whirl, especially after Pennsylvania launched its own investigation into the sex abuse uh, scandals even happening within that state. Um, and many state, uh, states started following suit afterwards. Uh, but Cardinal Whirl has indeed uh, given his resignation to Pope Francis and Pope Francis has accepted. Uh, I'm looking at an article here from the church militant stating the Vatican is rigging the McCarrick investigation. Now, it seems that the Vatican wants to accuse everyone else point the finger to everyone else, including blaming what they call the great accuser or Satan, instead of taking responsibility for the sins that are being committed, the sins of homosexuality, the sins of pedophilia against our children. Um, so I'm getting this article from the church militant, and you can look this up. This was uh, brought out yesterday, Vatican rigging the McCarrick investigation. It says here, church militant has learned that anti-Vigano forces in the Vatican are rigging the upcoming papal investigation into the McCarrick situation in an effort to shield the homosexual network within the Vatican. The plan is to release a final report shifting as much blame as possible for McCarrick's rise to power onto Pope John Paul II. So now their strategy is to blame uh, Pope John Paul for the fact that McCarrick came to power in the first place and is now calling out the pedophilia and homosexuality within the church. The plan is to point what will be called the undue influence of a longtime female friend who herself had fallen victim, they say, to McCarrick's scheming, lavishing her with his charm and financial assistance in an effort to gain her confidence. In other words, the fix is in and the final report will be nothing but a massive whitewashing. Well, this has been going on, this whitewashing for weeks now. Uh, with the Pope shifting blame to Satan and everyone else but themselves and taking responsibility, apologizing to the public for this sin and trying to make amends for it. So you can look up this uh, um, source yourself. This is on churchmilitant.com. It was released yesterday, Vatican rigging the McCarrick investigation. Uh, the resignation of Cardinal Whirl, uh, in my opinion, uh, greatly emphasizes the, the guilt of this man in helping to cover up what has been going on in the Vatican. Um, the scripture says, be sure your sin will find you out. Now, this was an inspired word from the Holy Spirit. The Vatican is, is being found out. Uh, and I believe the Lord will use this to draw, hopefully, it's my prayer, Catholics to come out of this system. I hope this is one of many tools that Christ is using to draw Catholics out of this system. When it says in Revelation, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and of her plagues. But uh, Cardinal Whirl is resigning today, uh, which to me gives evidence that he is complicit in the cover-up, even if he's not admitting guilt himself in anything. Um, and also now they are shifting blame to Pope John Paul for McCarrick's rise to power. So it's everyone else's fault, apparently. It's Satan, it's McCarrick, now it's Pope John Paul. Instead of claiming responsibility, apologizing, and owning up to the sin and the evil that is going on, we're going to shift blame to everyone else. So this has just been an update on the situation, and I'll be back soon, Lord willing.